Hall family cheering their uh, Michael on from Phoenix, Arizona. He may be just three minutes away from a gold medal. Let's go back to boxing. Michael Carvajal is coming in with his jab. Comes in, then the right hand, then the left hook afterwards. The left hook didn't land, but the other two did. Then another combination. That's what's neutralizing Ristoff. And a big round for Carvajal. According to Counterpunch, this is the third and final round. Remember, these points are cumulative, meaning that they add up all of these punches for a, from through round three to a final total, and that's what gives you the winner. So. Carvajal catching up with his deficit of the first round, and he apparently, unofficially, is ahead. Michael Carvajal in the blue trunks, 22 years old, out of Phoenix, of Mexican descent, the eighth of nine children looking to win the gold in this opening match of the evening. We're in the gold medal round, and Carvajal going against the 28-year-old Ivano Ristov of Bulgaria, who won his uh, four qualifying matches on points, all 5-0 decisions. Ristov now starting to try to do some of the leading with his jab because he, I'm sure the corners told him, hey, you're behind here. You better start taking the offense and get off that... Uh, defensive posture you're losing the fight and he's coming on to try to get the goal with offense small cut under the left eye of Carvajal but does not appear to have much effect no I don't think it's a factor at all look at this every time Carvajal comes in it's one two three punches and of course that's a mark of a great uh, boxer when you can come in combination you've got a big advantage over the other guys just punching one punch at a time Ristov's looking for his right. Every once in a while, he throws a weak jab. Late hit on a break. And the referee, Kisha Narsi of India, pointed that out. And the caution called on Carball for hitting below the waist. A minute 15 remaining. Third and final round, the winner goes home with the goal. Michael Carvajal of the United States Ivano Ristoff of Bulgaria. The well, right hand by uh, Ristoff, but again, it appears Carvajal having uh, the better of it in this third round. Again, Ristoff able to land with the right. Carvajal has slowed down a little bit, and I don't know why, because this is, this is the minute that impresses. This is the minute that sometimes wins you the goal, so it's up to Michael Carvajal to get in gear and be a punching machine here. This last remaining 42 seconds. Caution again against Carvajal, leading with his shoulder. Yes, Ristoff coming on here in the final minute. Good combination by Carvajal, and Ristoff able to counter. Coulter screaming, come on, come on. Let's have a big last finish. And we are down to the final seconds. Another caution for a headbutt on Carvajal. This will be a very difficult match to score. Michael Carvajal of the United States, Ivano Ristoff of Bulgaria, fighting for the gold, and it will go to the five judges. Well, Brother Daddy giving the impression that he feels that Michael won it. Uh, but we'll see, according to Counterpunch, Ristoff had the edge in round one, Carvajal in round two. And there's Manuel and Mary uh, Carvajal looking a bit concerned as we await the decision. Coach Ken Adams to the left, head coach of the U.S. team, Tom Coulter, one of the assistant coaches to the right. This for the gold in the 106-pound light flyweight division. I'm wondering why uh, Michael Carvajal quit that uh, nonstop attack of the second round, which won him the second so easily, and went on the defensive and let uh, Haristov get the brave. I'm, I'm not sure why he did that, but he's made this a close fight when it looked like it was he was going into a blowout. And now let's check out our counterpunch statistics, well, 
even around. This is most unusual to see it even in terms of punches thrown and landed. And uh, this is a uh, this is a toss-up bout. Although the final count of punch has Carbajal outlanding Ristoff 49 to 39. And now it goes to the five judges. All right, early this third round, Carbajal continued and uh, picked up where he had left off in the second. And then uh, Ristoff, apparently sensing that he needed, he needed uh, to go on the offense himself, went on the offensive and sort of neutralized Carbajal in spite of that. And it's quite unofficial. My opinion is that Carbajal won a very tight squeaker. Well, he squeaked by in his first bout. And that was a surprise. Uh, there were not many people here who thought that he would get the victory over the Korean opponent, Oh Kwang Soo, particularly in a close bout. But Carbajal did pull it out on the judges' scorecard, uh, three to two, and then had an easy time the rest of the way. While Ristoff has not been challenged, he has won his four previous bouts, the qualifying matches, all four on points by 5-0 decisions and here it is public address announcer getting set this is for the goal will Ladies it be Ristoff or Carbajal the winner is on point 5-0 in the blue corner Ivalio Ristoff and it is Ivalio Ristoff of Bulgaria taking the gold in a 5-0 decision which means that all five judges went for Ristoff, but it was a very close bout. So a disappointment to Michael Carbajal and the United States boxing team as Ivalo Ristoff of Bulgaria, the 1982 world champion, a veteran of uh, amateur uh, boxing. He's 28 years old, and he has won it here in Seoul. So also... a. Uh, tough moment for Danny Carbajal who uh, did not exactly uh, agree with the decision first the cheer and then the disappointment 